Welcome to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce. Each month, we'll feature business and community leaders sharing their stories, initiatives, concerns, and passions. Learn practical information regarding community resources and opportunities. Now, the host of Business Voice, Greece Regional Chamber President and CEO, Sarah Lentini. Welcome to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, sponsored by Pet Saver Healthy Pet Superstore. I'm Sarah Lentini. Delighted to welcome well, one of four guests on today's show. We've got quite the lineup. I'm uh, very happy to welcome back to the show John Adams of FranNet. Welcome, John. Thanks, Sarah. Happy to be here. Yeah, great to see you. Hasn't been uh, all that long, yeah, but great what? to have you back on the show. Our listeners may recognize that you were on uh, probably probably more than a year ago, yeah, right? Yeah, probably more than a year ago. Yeah, it was yeah. quite a while ago. Time flies. It was early on in the process. Yeah, and when you were on last time, you you told us, you really walked us through the process of franchising and a little, you know, told us about FranNet, but told us a lot about the franchise process. But for people who might not have listened to that particular program, can you just give us a quick overview of FranNet? What the heck is FranNet? Okay, so FranNet is a um, international company. Mm-hmm. It's actually a franchise. I own the Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse territories. Uh, we find people that are interested in getting into business for themselves and help them through the process of due diligence and acquisition. Wow. Uh, we provide. Uh, we have a stable of of people that can help them with their business: attorneys, franchise attorneys, CPAs, payroll. People, I'll give wow. you a lead in for your right, next your right, next client right, here, right. Um, and uh, we, we that's what we do. So we're coaches, we're matchmakers, we're Match dot com for franchises. Right. We have two hundred fifty franchises in our portfolio. That was my next question. Okay, and so we, there, there there's a, a whole bunch of choices. A lot of choices. Yeah. We start with the individual, and we we build to the right franchise for them. Fantastic. If you give somebody a list of two hundred fifty franchises, they will inevitably pick the wrong ones. <laughs> something that doesn't fit them, that they can't afford. We go through all that with them before we start talking about franchises. So we really understand our client and um, right. we find the right thing for them. Yeah, you're good at, at making the fit and work and then making the helping them to make the business work, correct? Exactly. Yeah. I, I, one thing I love about being local is that I can stay on with my clients and I can direct business to them. Oh, um, even better. Yeah. I have, I have a pile of business cards here in my portfolio and somebody says they need a tree guy i give them the monster tree right card and um actually i got some discount cards in here so if you need a, <laughs> if you have tree work coming up okay. i'd be happy to give you That's one very good to know right <laughs> bob and i bob d'angelo is in the studio with us he's the our silent partner uh, from show to show thank you so much shout out to bob d'angelo of wysl so um we're, we'll be happy to get some discount tree cards from you when the when the show is over but um um, 200, and, 200 and some franchises and right. all that help. The two questions I have, do people come to you? Could I come to you right now and say, um, I'm interested in, John, I'm interested in potentially owning a franchise. Can I start a conversation with you? Absolutely. We're, okay. we're completely free to our clients. Really? We're completely paid, free? Completely all that free. assistance? Yep. That's amazing. We, we are paid a, uh, a commission by the franchisor. That's great. When somebody sends in a the franchise fee and the completed application. Okay. Um, or signs, signs the agreement. Then, uh, and, and unlike a real estate agent where they're free, the franchise cannot change the price. They cannot change the franchise fee. Okay. Just because they're coming in through me. So okay. your franchise fee would be exactly the same if you come in with my help where you go directly to the franchisor and you work with oh, them directly. Oh, so there's so we're, no downside whatsoever. It's all... Right. Why wouldn't you take advantage of a FranNet? Yeah. Exactly. Got yeah. it. Okay. You know, I've been doing this five and a half years. FranNet's been doing it for thirty. Right. And is FranNet? You mentioned that you own the um, you own FranNet in Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse. Correct. correct? Yep. But is FranNet it itself is a franchise? FranNet is FranNet is a franchise. So it's um, a big national company that's actually international. We're in Canada, Germany, and England as well as wow. the U.S. And we pretty much we pretty much cover the entire U.S. I think. I think Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine is still available. Oh, but really? other than that, we're pretty well covered the, covered in the U.S. Very cool. And and there are other companies like FranNet that do – I mean, is, I've never – you know, I told you when we first talked about this uh, over a year ago that I wasn't really familiar with the fact that there were 
people out there that did what you do that would help you, you know, pick and succeed in a franchise for the, free. The biggest, <laughs> the, the most common response I get when I tell people what I do is, I didn't know that was a thing. Right. And right. so we are in the process of, well, we've always been in the process of educating mm-hmm. clients, educating the public to let them know what it is that we do. Right. Um, we're actually working on a big promotional push in Syracuse right now. I have a, an associate covering Syracuse for me. Uh, she's doing a great job, and we're so we're we're doing a little push in that market to get her better, more recognized. That's wonderful. And in fact, you've been growing, right? I mean, you didn't you? Um, it, it sounds like maybe she's a relatively new associate. Have you been? It sounded like you've been hiring over the last um, year, correct? Yeah, technically she's a subcontractor. Okay, but um, she's been with me about a year, and I just got word today that um, someone I've been talking with about. Working in Rochester is going to sign up. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm, yeah. I'm really psyched. So your capacities have just uh, expanded even further in being able to help people yeah. in this region. That's it's, great. It's really important to have the local knowledge, and that's what Erica has in Syracuse. Um, Erica Davis is my associate over there. Um, she's incredibly well-connected in the community. She's a, a certified coach mm-hmm. as well, and she coaches people on business issues and growing issues. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well connected with the Women's Business Center and and other organizations in Syracuse. Um, well, that's great. We're starting to get a lot of lot of people coming to her right now. She's got a lot of a lot of customers on uh, in the works. In the works, yep. in the pipeline, as they say. Yep. So I know there are a couple of things that um, I want to make sure that that you talk about today. One is um, you've got a big webinar coming up, correct? We do on uh, on August twentieth. Uh, I'm finalizing the Eventbrite page for that right now. Nice. Uh, people can call me or if they go on uh, friendnet.com slash Adams, it'll be posted there within the next day or two. We're just getting marketing to take a final look at it to make sure I did everything right. <laughs> and uh, and to connect it to, uh, go to go to webinar, which is the platform we're going to use for the webinar itself. Awesome. That's on uh, August 20th at... Uh, at 7 p.m. local time, uh, one of our partners is going to be looking at, uh, or is going to be talking about four franchises that they that they work with. They're a franchise development company, um, two of which require an initial investment of three hundred fifty thousand dollars, and uh, That's not that bad. the other two are yeah. less less than one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Oh, even better. So, so really pretty reasonable, right? Yeah, very reasonable. Somebody coming out of a business, um, laid off, or just tired of tired of being in that business uh, or in any business, uh, they have the mortgage paid off. The kids are through college. Right. They might have some money to invest in a thing like that. Right. And do you have to have, like you said, it might be, it could be as cheap as one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to get involved in some of these franchises. Do you have to have all of that one hundred and fifty in the savings account? No. And actually, actually, um, our investment level starts as low as thirty five thousand dollars and goes to well over a million. Uh, you can borrow. Uh, oh, you can. Two, there's two two really ways that people uh, get into a franchise. They can some have cash. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Wonderful. Cash uh, works. <laughs> some have some have some cash, but not enough. Mm-hmm. And those people can do things like home equity loans are very popular. Mm-hmm. Um, small business administration lending is very popular, and okay. the rate is going down on those because the Fed reduced the the rate last week. That's great news. So those those will be back to eight percent from eight and a quarter, um, and a lot of people do what's called a rollover for business startup, where you can take money from your your uh, IRA or a four hundred one k okay four hundred one k from a previous employer it can't be a current employer okay and the and then you can roll that over into a retirement plan in your business, so there's there's a fee for making that transfer, but there's no tax or penalty. For withdrawing from your four from your four hundred one k. Oh, that's wonderful. So when you said there is a fee, though, is it is it pretty modest compared it, to what it would have been if you were normally being charged for taking out of your? Oh yeah, it's definitely definitely it's a less. Fee. If you if yeah. you um, if you're under fifty nine and a half and you withdraw from that your four hundred one k or or IRA, mm-hmm. you're probably going to wind up with fifty percent of what you withdraw between the taxes and the penalty. Right. 
this way you wind up with 95 percent oh that's awesome so it's well, sorry, it's got to be an yeah. attractive option yeah. for people yeah yeah absolutely so um if you're just joining us you're listening to business voice a program of the greece regional chamber of commerce sponsored by pet saver healthy pet superstore i'm sarah lentini president of the greece regional chamber of commerce and i'm here talking with john adams of FranNet. Uh, and John is telling us a little bit about um, how, you know, relatively easy it is mm. to get involved uh, in owning your own franchise, setting one up and owning. And you were just telling us about some options for um, coming up with the cash uh, to be able to invest in a franchise. And you help people with all of the process, correct, including Absolutely. trying to line up the cash, like what you were just talking about? Absolutely. Um, like I said, we have we have attorneys. We have um all kinds of different professionals who help us. We also have local bankers who, who help us as well. Fantastic. Now, you have um, you have and continue to be involved in lots of, therefore, new businesses and franchises coming online, correct? Right. And is yep. that um, something you could share a little bit of that with us today? I don't want to let you go without hearing about some of your success stories. Oh, well, um, my two biggest success stories, one is uh, called Jan Pro. Yes. Local local guy named Steve Skews. Uh, He's started terrific. That, I've met him. <laughs> okay. He's, right? He started that business you. <laughs> a couple yeah. years ago. Yeah. And uh, he came out. He started and um, started and sold three businesses. Wow. When he retired, when he sold the last business, he was sitting home on the couch one day, and his wife said, "No, no, no, this is not going to happen." <laughs> so he came to me, and he said, uh, "You know, somebody introduced him to me, and we we found JanPro for him." Uh, so Jan Pro is actually a master franchise. He finds sub franchisees to do the uh-huh. cleaning, and he finds um, he finds customers for those mm-hmm. for those sub franchisees. Um, cool the other, business, yeah. yeah, it really is, and he's doing very well. Uh, doing well in Rochester, working on expanding into Buffalo right now, and he awesome. also owns Syracuse, which he hasn't started working on yet. And then uh, the other the other guy who's doing great is Jay Herman with mm. the Monster Tree Service. Oh, speaking of trees, yes. Yeah, I worked. Yeah. I worked with. Uh, I worked with Jay at Frontier, and Global Crossing when I was there. Um, we had the same job in different parts of the company, so uh, we got to know each other pretty well then. And then his kids were playing sports, and I knew him from there. And when he got tired of being in telecom and getting merged and acquired, <laughs> he uh, he called me up one day and said, "What can we figure out?" And we landed on uh, we landed on Monster Tree Service, which was a brand new franchise at the time. Uh, and he is he is uh, totally killing it. Oh, that's he, great. He worked last summer. He spent the summer working on, uh, or he spent the, the season working on the ground. Right. Uh, helping his crew, learning the business. And this season he put on a second crew, so they're... Oh. He's doing great. Yeah, he is doing great. Yep. And a testament to, to you're doing great. Yeah. A testament I, to yep. the work that you're doing. And, and that must make you feel really good. Yep. We're, we're looking real hard for... Uh, monster franchisees in Buffalo and Syracuse so that they can collaborate on advertising and things like that. Again, this is the service we provide after the, after the fact to help them with, um, help them grow their business. Right. Um, so if people want to reach out, there might be people listening who, who are interested perhaps in uh, at least exploring the possibility Mm -hmm. of starting a franchise. How do they reach you again? They can reach me at 585-739-6625. That's my phone number. Right. Um, it's my cell phone. It's my business number. It's the only number I have. You're a brave man. Cell and, phone. Yep. And so, uh, and also, uh, Jay Adams at FranNet, and FranNet has two N's in it. Dot oh. com. Jay Adams at FranNet with two N's. Dot com. com. Yep. Okay. Wonderful. And if they want to look at the web page, it's uh, FranNet dot com slash Jay Adams. Okay. You can take them to my local page. There's a place there that they can take a readiness assessment. Uh, it takes about ten fifteen minutes to do. And we'll provide feedback on whether they're ready to uh, go into to start looking at a franchise. And then we'll help them through that process. That's wonderful. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you. Uh, and the expansion of your franchise, your Fran Net, Fran Net franchise here in the, uh, I guess we call it the Western Central Finger Lakes region, right? right. Mm-hmm. And uh, thank you so much for being here once again. John Adams, Fran Net. Thanks for having me, sir. I really appreciate the opportunity. to. Uh-huh. Always great to chat with you. Same here. Okay. you got to come back soon. Don't go away. We're going to be right back with my next guest, Blink Fitness. Pet 
Get all the advantages when you shop at Pet Saver. Like our do it yourself pet wash for just $9.99 every day. We supply all the shampoo, towels, tubs, and water, and we clean up after you too. The Pet Saver friendly staff helps you protect your pet from fleas and ticks with simple, safe, economical, and vet recommended protection. We are here seven days a week in person to help you find only the best pet food, treats, toys, and more. Can't get that online. <laughs> Remember, every time you shop at Pet Saver, you are helping to feed our local shelter pets. Do your community and your pet a big favor. Shop at Pet Saver! The Love Your Pet More store. <laughs> pet Saver Healthy Pet Superstore. In Greece, Monroe Avenue, and Brighton, Webster, and in Victor next to Party City, across from Eastview Mall. AVO Resource Solutions LLC offers non-medical private personal care for seniors, adults, and children with varying levels of functioning ability and needs, including in-home personal care, household chores, transportation, and companion service at any time of day. The hands-on care provided by AVO's teams of professional, certified, reliable, trustworthy, and well-trained in-home aides allows family members to experience a better quality of life and to live independently in the comfort of their own homes. Call Linda at 585-764-8516 or visit avoresourcesolutionsllc.com. Alexa, play WYSL. And here at WYSL stations worldwide, WYSL1040.com. Welcome back. You're listening to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, sponsored by Pet Saver Healthy Pet Superstore. I'm Sarah Lentini, president of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, and I'm delighted to welcome my next guests from Blink Fitness, an exciting new company that's coming into the Rochester area. Uh, and I've got two guests here from Blink, J.J. Patrikas and Amaja Grant. Welcome, J.J. and Amaja. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. <laughs> yeah, delighted that you're here. So a lot of people in the listening audience are probably going, Blink Fitness. I don't know if I've ever heard of Blink Fitness. Uh, and in fact, you are you are um, coming into the area and you're coming and announcing uh, that you're going to be actually opening up sometime this fall. And I'll, I certainly want to hear more about that. But um, can you tell us a little bit about the history of Blink Fitness? What is it and how did it get started in the first place? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, we're really excited to be bringing Blink to Rochester. Uh, there's going to be 90 plus locations uh, across uh, the country by the time we open up this October. Wow. Uh, and Blink started in New York City in 2011 and has grown from there. Uh, you know, they're, they're now a national brand. They're in uh, Philadelphia, Boston, uh, Los Angeles. They're uh, in Michigan, going to be opening up in Chicago, uh, you know, all across the country. So, it's unbelievable. You know, and wow. our franchise group signed on to do five in upstate New York in the next five years. So okay. we, we started our upstate New York journey in Syracuse uh, last fall. Yeah, we have another one in Syracuse opening uh, again this fall. And then when we come to Rochester here in October, this will be our first in the Rochester market. But we we're, will definitely be coming with, uh, you know, many more down the road here across upstate New York. So we're really excited, uh, you know, to bring Blink to this market. Yeah, that's fantastic. So I didn't realize 90 across the country. Yes. Staggering, impressive, exciting. Um, and I knew because you had told me previously that, uh, you know, this uh, the whole concept and the whole business started in New York City. But um, uh, I don't think I, I realized the scope of the expansion. So you're part of a particular franchise that's committed to five in Syracuse, Rochester and in the surrounding region. Yeah, but there have- are other franchise. So all those 90 is because other franchise other franchisees are opening at the same time in different parts of the country is that's what oh my gosh absolutely so our, our wow. franchise is is doing you know we got syracuse rochester and we actually have the rights for you know upstate new york so we can oh, in general. Exp- yes ah. absolutely and they will be at 300 locations within the next three years so it's a fast growing wow. uh you know franchise you know fitness here so obviously it must have had great appeal <laughs> Um, in New York to be to have taken off so um, so quickly and so well. So tell us a little bit about Blink. And by the way, I'm sorry the listening audience can't see your great T-shirts <laughs> with the Blink logo, colorful, um, you know, memorable, very nice logo, which I've seen before. So tell us about Blink. All right. Well, we're all about mood at our gym. So we put okay. mood above muscle. So we want you to feel good when you walk in as well as you walk out. So we believe that exercise isn't just about looking good. It's about how it makes you feel. Nice. So we, co- we come 
with our feel good experience. So when you come in, you are greeted with respect and enthusiasm by our awesome mood lifters, everyone who works there. <laughs> we also have an everyone cleans philosophy. So we go around wow. the gym as much as possible and clean the equipment, locker, and whatever you need, and we're always available for you. Nice. Um, we also have nationally certified personal trainers. So everyone gets a free startup session with a personal trainer to help them out around the gym. And we have, uh, we also have a very aspiring, bright, and open design. So everything is, sci- all our colors are scientifically proven to boost your mood. Like I said, we're all about mood. We're trying to greet you with a smile right when you walk through the door, and we want you to feel good while you're working out, as well as you just hanging out. I love it because <laughs> sometimes just thinking about a workout can make you feel less than enthusiastic, right? Yes. <laughs> Especially if you're like me and you haven't done one in a while, and then you know you want to feel, you want to feel, you know, like it's going to be a positive experience, so it uh, propels you to actually go to the gym and you want to feel like the whole thing is a, is a positive experience. And I just have to say um, that having now interacted with the two of you because you're new members of the Greece Regional Chamber, thank you very much, um, <laughs> woo, um, that uh, for starters, you both always sport the most beautiful welcoming smiles. So I have no trouble believing that the gym is going to be a really welcoming place. And I know, of course, you've already opened in Syracuse. So uh, how's that going, by the way? First of all, Syracuse is going incredible. Thank you for asking. And, you know, we've really connected with that community right now. Mm -hmm. We are in a a Wegmans Plaza in Syracuse as well. So we are coming to the Ridgemont Plaza and the Wegmans Plaza right there. It's been a great connection. Um, And our next location in Syracuse is also in Wegmans Plaza. So all three are are, uh, you know, we're sort of tied with in with Wegmans right now, so it's been a really great connection it to, sure is. Yeah. Um, you know, to the people who are you know frequently coming to those plazas. Uh, we also, you know, have what she was talking about is in in terms of our inspiring design, we really have gone like next level in terms. Of we're bringing a like a state of the art type of fitness experience. We have our our cardio equipment all connects to your Netflix, Hulu, live TV right on there. Nice. Uh, like she said, a spotless clean gym um, and and mood. Lifters. That's that's what we call all of our employees. So, like you said, you know, if you you know, it, you you have a little bit of trouble trying to you know get yourself inspired to go to yep. the gym. But if you know you're going to see someone who's going to greet you and make you feel like a rock star when you walk in the door, uh, you know, I remember you know the first time we opened in Syracuse and people are walking out and we're giving them high fives and saying you <laughs> killed it today, like great job. And they're like they're looking at us like what are you, what are you doing? I've never been treated like this coming in and out of a gym. It's right. just it's it's sort of that next level of customer service and nice. uh, you know just really just making people feel good when they walk in and out of the door that's that's yeah, every blink across the country is going to do it's it's we start with that culture in mind of making people feel incredible because that's what you want when you when you come to the gym absolutely and that is what makes you distinctive which is also important you want to distinguish yourself so um in case you're just joining us you're listening to business voice a program of the greece regional chamber of commerce sponsored by pet saver healthy pet super store i'm sarah lentini and i'm here talking with jj patricus and Amaja Grant, both of whom work for Blink Fitness, which is an exciting uh, new business that is opening up in Greece and in, in upstate New York generally. But we're particularly excited because the uh, the one that you're opening up in the, in the Rochester area, at least the first one in the Rochester area, is in Greece, in Ridgemont Plaza, uh, right by Wegmans. And as you mentioned, JJ, you've had this, um, you know, uh, is it an, uh, uh, just the church seeking out Wegmans Plazas, or is there something even more formal? Is Wegmans particularly supportive of your concept? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what this is originally when we started looking for our real estate locations and the you know one of the first conversations that we got to was with our Wegmans in Liverpool New York uh we connected very well with their brand ours is exercise you know blink fitness is about how exercise makes you feel um you know i'm going to give a little cross promotion shout out to Wegmans is food you feel good about yep. um and really the connection has been awesome and they they do a lot of stuff with their uh employees about getting their employees up and moving uh. and staying healthy uh and and a Wegmans consumer you know a, a grocery shopper there is also about eating healthy and feeling good so we find a really great connection with them and and after we you know saw that in liverpool uh we realized that we are going to be moving across upstate new york and 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 they have a great presence across upstate new york um so i would say it's a little bit of both we've 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 sought them out but it's it's been a really great connection you know amongst the two the two brands because we really you know we feel great about the plazas that we're in, uh, they are great landlords and they're very supportive. Uh, and again, the you know the the consumer that they that they go after is the same yep. p- person that we're going after. It's an incredible um, you know connection. 
Yeah. No, I can I can understand there'd be a lot of resonance between the two the two brands and the two companies. So Amaja, you are going to be managing the Greece location, correct? Yeah, I am. Wonderful. <laughs> so that's going to be exciting. Yeah, it's very yeah. exciting. Yeah. It's a, definitely a new experience. Um, I started <laughs> in the Syracuse location, and I got promoted to this. Awesome. It's really nice to know the area and get to know the people. Mm-hmm. And like JJ said, we are making those partnerships and like understanding the business area and the Rochester area. It's right. very big area to go around. It is. <laughs> so. yeah. I often tell people they don't realize <laughs> just Greece alone is 96,000 plus people, which is the size of the city of Albany. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty <laughs> big and of course the region as a whole is bigger still and and, uh, and it's a great area to, to live in as somebody who's been here now for quite some time but uh, tell us more about the gym because um you know you mentioned a personal trainer and i i really want us to go back to that because that's a big deal you're saying everybody is assigned yep so um everyone can trainer? come after you sign up for a membership you get a free startup session with a personal trainer for 30 minutes and that is designed for you so if you want to learn the equipment they can show you all the equipment if you want a hard work routine for 30 minutes they can give you that as well mm-hmm. all our trainers are nasty certified so they've taken a national exam and gone and gone to school for it in some way mm-hmm. just to get um, into our gym to train them because we want to make sure that every member feels comfortable with their trainer and in their own skin and that's what we're all about and then are there also classes are there obviously there's equipment yeah. i'm just trying to get a picture of the gym yeah um, no problem um there we don't have classes but we have this personalized mobile companion that comes with every membership wow it helps you eat better exercise better recharge better so if you want to eat better it gives you healthy recipes and stuff like that if you want to recharge better it gives you articles that'll lessen your stress help sleep better right in your phone and if you want to um exercise better give you yoga zumba uh, exercise videos right there and it's awesome. free with your app you just download it very cool and that's your it's an app that you guys yes, designed our oh, app. specifically a blink yep. app yeah so blink the, fitness app. we call it our personalized mobile companion so not only um you know can you get healthy recipes get you know more you know mindfulness and wellness techniques uh but what she was talking about you know there are you know, high intensity interval training workout videos right on there zumba yoga stretching techniques so if you want to engage with sort of that next level class type experience you can do it right on your smartphone you can either be doing it at home you can be doing it in one of our workout areas while you're at the gym um but also it you know you can use that and connect that with what you're doing with that personal trainer as well oh that sounds great so um i don't want to have you leave without telling people how to connect with you and I'm, i don't know whether are you guys going to be hiring as well will you be or are we, you already done so we have hired our pre-sale staff for the summer right now okay. but we absolutely will be hiring right now we're holding on to six employees for the summer pre-sale going around and telling people about blink Great. um and then we'll be up to 20 employees by the time we open so we oh, definitely will be fantastic. hiring come uh, september uh, early october time um and and then doing all of our training uh but how people can connect with us. This mm-hmm. is um, great. I'm glad you asked. Uh, you can sign up right now on oh. BlinkFitness.com. BlinkFitness.com. Uh, yes. Okay. During our pre-sale, we're doing join for $1. So right now, it's you pay us $1, and you owe nothing until uh, November 1st. So it's a pre-sale offer that is uh, savings of 49 to $99. They can, wow. You know, Blink uh, can charge up to $99 to join for our memberships. Pre-sale offer is join for a buck. Uh, our memberships wow. are as low as $15 a month. Uh, and our $15 a month membership is no commitment, cancel anytime. Wow. So we have all those offers going on right now on BlinkFitness.com. If you want to see a little bit more about the brand, you can always connect with us on Instagram at Blink Fitness. Um, Facebook. You know, Facebook yeah. for sure um, at Blink Fitness. And, and just sort of see some of the other content that's being posted by users from across the country. Just a very positive body right. image type of gym. Very welcoming, bright, open. You can see what Blink Fitness looks like. Yep. Uh, and, and some of you guys out there might have seen our Facebook ads that are out there. There's like a, a drone video tour of a Blink Fitness. So you can see all the fun stuff that's happening throughout Blinks and across the country right now. Yeah, which has got to be, that's got to, you got to be, um, you know, just picking up energy from that. 300 locations opening up across the country. That's extremely exciting. But of course, we're most excited about the one that you're opening up here in the <laughs> greater Rochester region in Greece, Ridgemont Plaza, opening up this fall. October, yeah, more or less, or- is, your, is your target date. And we're delighted to have you as new members of the Greece Regional Chamber. And I know you're going to be hosting uh, networking events and working with us and our members and uh, doing a lot of great cross promotions. So thank you both so much for being here. I wish you so much luck. J.J. Patrikas, uh, Amaja Grant, 
from Blink Fitness. That's Blink, just like your eyeball, right? Blink, <laughs> Blink Fitness, and you can check them out at BlinkFitness.com. BlinkFitness.com. Thank you guys so much for being here today on Business Voice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, don't go away. We're going to be right back with our next guest from Complete Payroll. If you're looking to market and grow your business, make new business connections, and give back to the community in a meaningful way, consider joining the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce. We're the largest suburban chamber in Monroe County, and we offer networking, education, marketing, insurance, and advocacy. You do not need to live or work in Greece to join. Our members come from throughout the region. In short, we're better together, and together, we're moving business forward. Visit greasechamber.org or call 585-227-7272 to join today. Yeti to Work is Rochester's talent acquisition partner based right in Greece, New York. We offer full-service recruitment functions for businesses of all sizes and all roles, from IT to manufacturing to sales and everything in between. We also offer exclusive discounts and benefits for members of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce. If you're having a tough time finding employees, give us a call. We'll help you through the process and find that next great hire. Visit YetiToWork.com or call 585 434 29 you're listening to the voice of liberty am 1040 avon rochester fm 92.1 rochester and fm 95.5 spencerport welcome back you're listening to business voice a program of the greece regional chamber of commerce sponsored by pet saver healthy pet superstore i'm sarah lantini President of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, and I'm delighted to welcome my next guests, Sydney Underwood and Matt McNeil, both of Complete Payroll. Welcome, guys. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Yeah, delighted to have you here. So um, we're also delighted that you're new members of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce. Uh, thank you very much for joining the chamber. And uh, I know you're already active and uh, networking. And Matt, you've been to a number of our events already. And uh, uh, however, you're not new. And you're, you're probably, uh, you've probably been in business for some time. I know you're based in Perry. Do um, you want to tell us a little bit about the company, Sydney? Absolutely. So we've been in business for just about 27 years now. We are a family-owned business, so started by Rick Fish Sr. Okay. Um, 27 years. We actually have about 60 employees now, around 2,000 clients. That's big, um, so actually. We, yeah. We've actually doubled in size in the last five years, and we plan to do the same in the next five years. Wow, way to go. Yeah. That's huge. You doubled in size in the last five years. Yes, yes. Fantastic. Do you have a, you know, do you have a sense of why? Is there a... Uh, a strategy that you've undertaken that um, you know that that you're looking to replicate because you said you're looking to double mm-hmm. again in the next five. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, from the day that we were founded, it's always been a foundation of our ethics that mm-hmm. has kind of led our way through the business world. So, as much as we've grown and changed, we've always tried to keep that same code in place. Um, so, I definitely think in the next five years we're gonna we're gonna target the same exact thing. Make sure our culture is our solid foundation and bring whatever we can to our clients. So. Right. And I've never met you before. Sometimes, you know, actually many times when guests come on the show, um, uh, they're folks that are from the membership. So I've met them. But you're relatively new members. It's such a pleasure to meet you, Sydney. You as well. Uh, thank you. And I don't know anything about you. So how long have you been with the company? And yes. where were you before? How'd you, how did you end up uh, in working for Complete Payroll? Yes. So I actually worked for Five Star Bank, another oh, local company, okay. before Absolutely. coming to Complete Payroll. I've been with Complete Payroll for about three years. I started in operations as their corporate trainer, so um, demoing and training for our clients, which is always free of charge. That's just one of our philosophies. We give you the software, but we're going to train you how to use it. So that's where I started. Uh, I then moved into our implementation department. I managed a team of about seven individuals with our clients, so bringing on new clients, introducing them to Complete Payroll, and then moving them on to customer service. So after about two years of being implementation manager and working hand in hand with sales, I decided I wanted to uh, manage the sales team. So uh, they gave me this great opportunity and I'm now the Rochester regional sales manager. Wow. Well, first of all, congratulations. That's Thank you. quite the arc. Yeah. And, then I'm, and then that's impressive too. So you definitely know the products, you know the process based on the history you just described. So that's going to make you awesome in sales. But usually people go screaming from the room when it comes to sales. So I'm also impressed because that's brave. Sales is where There's pressure, right? Yeah, I think that just kind of speaks to our culture. Uh, We are willing to take a different approach to sales. We want to make sure that the knowledge is there. So 
I don't have the traditional arc, as you said, into right. sales, but I know everything that there is to know about our products, about our people, about our clients. So it just made sense. Yeah. And what about you, Matt? You're on the sales side, most definitely, right? Yep. I'm on the front lines. Yep. <laughs> meeting with meeting with the clients. And um, I think, uh, you know, just to reiterate what Sydney had said, um, you know, we don't really work in a super high pressure uh, sales environment. Um you know, I think part of our growth, you know, most of it has been organically due to our dedication to our, our customer service and our, mm-hmm. our transparent pricing. Um, you know, not all relationships are meant to be is one of our philosophies. We're mm-hmm. not always going to have the solution for every business, but... Um, with every meeting that we have, we, you know, try to showcase exactly what we can do to, to help your business. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, I think that we offer something very comparable to the rest of our competitors. And it's just a matter of, um, you know, who they like the most. Mm -hmm. And you really, I mean, payroll is your specialty. Yep. Payroll, um, HR and timekeeping software is also. All very, uh, obviously very closely related. So it makes sense that you would focus in all three areas. Yeah. Um, And some companies, you know, and this isn't to say it's good or bad. Some companies have a very big portfolio of services, right, both products and services mm-hmm. that they offer. Um, and, uh, you know, and that's great, but sometimes it's good to be uh, really clear about what your core competency is. And it seems as though you're, you're a company that's really focused on something that you've done and done well and done for a long time. Would that be a fair assessment? Yeah, we, we you know we we like to we like to say that we stay in our lane. Um, a lot of the larger providers now offer you know a full suite of of services from retirement planning to uh, employee benefits to um, employer insurances, and um, we don't really offer any of those services. We we strictly focus on the payroll, the taxes, the HR, the timekeeping stuff, mm. and then we partner. You know, we have strategic partnerships with other agencies. Agencies, um, you know, that can you know handle the rest of the stuff that all seamlessly integrates with our software. So, and you guys really focus on customer service. I know you've said it already, but mm-hmm. I think I think I've heard you talking a little bit about this, Matt, in the past, which is um, your your you know absolute mantra is uh, being responsive to the customer, being personal being individualized and not having an anonymous relationship. Um, Can you talk just a little bit further about that? Because you've got people that have been working for you for a long time, right? Yeah. Um, Sydney, do you want to, you you spent some time at the corporate office if you want to take this one. Yeah, I think I get to see that, you know, every day. So uh, we do have the highest retention rates um, in the industry for our customer service representatives. We Mm. focus on, uh, you know, continuous training. I think that's the biggest thing where we kind of differentiate from our competitors. We have customer service representatives that have been with us and they plan to stay with us and so we invest a lot into their training to make sure that that then passes along to our clients Uh, we've always been service oriented i think that it's pretty popular now to be service oriented but we kind of went against the grain when it was all about technology and push 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 to kind of take the human touch away from our industry we stayed with the human touch so we've always been about service we'll continue to be about service and that's why our clients stay with us Mm -hmm. you know we we have an average client size of about you know 24 employees Mm -hmm. Um, but that's not to say we don't have one employee clients versus 1,000 employee clients that's just where our average happens to be Um, those clients stay with us because they want to focus on their uh, restaurant or they want to focus on their salon or they want to focus on their um, grocery store. We're there to make sure that they can do that. Mm -hmm. We're going to take care of all of the hard work that goes into payroll. And as Matt said, it's because we're so focused on payroll um, and a complete human capital management solution. Mm -hmm. Terrific. So and, and you know our software allows for you know those who like to do the things on their own. So you know we have some of our clients who like to get on there, enter everything in on their own, mm-hmm. and then um, you know there there is still a pretty significant chunk of the market who like that human touch, who like to speak to somebody on the phone and, yep. you know, like to deliver the exact numbers and make sure that it's going to somebody that they've worked with and they trust, they talk to every week. So, um, yeah, you know, I'm one of those, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'd be the one 
on the phone because right. I would much prefer to make a phone call yeah. than have to go into a module. Yeah, yeah. And I think that that's just part of our, you know, another reason for part of our growth is that we've, you know, we spend a lot of our resources on our internal teams so that, you know, everybody is trained and, and you know, treats everyone with respect and yep. people just like to call in. I mean, there's some pretty funny stories of uh, how close some of our clients have gotten with some of our customer service reps. Yeah, so. there, there are some wild stories. I mean, I truly think that the difference between being a vendor and being a partner with your client mm-hmm. is good to great customer service, and that's what we offer. Well, that's great. It's nice to hear that customer service is still alive and well. Mm-hmm. And uh, in case you're just joining us, you're listening to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, sponsored by Pet Saver Healthy Pet Superstore. I'm Sarah Lentini, and I'm here with Sydney Underwood and Matt McNeil, both of Complete Payroll, based in Perry, but with a big footprint that certainly includes all of the greater Rochester region. And they're relatively new members of the Greece Regional Chamber, but uh, they've been around for quite a number of years. I went and forgot the exact number, but I know it's approaching 30, correct? 27. Correct. Yeah. 27. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's, a, that's a great number. In fact, we better do an anniversary when you when you hit your big 30. Uh, I think that's a, so, yeah. That's a, that's a big deal. Um, so, Matt, tell us a little bit about you. We heard a little bit about Sydney's background, but not yours. Um, yeah, so I, I grew up in Greece. Um, and, uh, I've never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, very familiar with the town, but um, it's changed quite a bit because in the last 10 years, I've lived uh, sort of all over the country, um, Atlanta, Detroit, New York, New Jersey. And um, about six months ago or so, I decided to move home. And, um, you know, there's no place like home. So um, <laughs> And um, it feels great to be back. It's uh, it was sort of a wild ride. I'd, I'd you know been all over the place. Had sold um, a lot of different uh, products and services, ranging from pharmaceuticals to software. And um, now I've, I feel like I finally found my home with Complete Payroll because um, they really allow me to be myself every day. And um, nice. everybody, you know, coming from large corporate environments, it's it's very refreshing to work at Complete Payroll where you're just working with people you feel like you belong you know it's it's a family type of atmosphere um you know the sales team has like this sort of locker room type of atmosphere that you feel like you're you know with your buddies that you grew up with and um it's it's really yeah yeah, you know you you can get to be yourself every day and not have to put on a mask and uh, worry about the corporate bureaucracy stuff and so uh, they really allow me to excel I think It's terrific. Having said that, it sounds as though you've got 10 good, solid years of experience in sales in some tough markets, and New York City was on the list as well. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, um, you know, congratulations to Complete Payroll uh, for uh, expanding your staff with uh, yet another good person. So um, uh, I don't want to let you go without asking this really important question. So if somebody listening has interest in learning more about Complete Payroll, how do they reach you? Yeah, so uh, completepayroll.com, that's our website. Uh, you'll notice that it's uh, it's a lot of fun. You know, you'll notice what our culture is like as soon as you get to our website. I think it's a good representation. Yeah, and there's also, um, if you're more interested, we, we did list a hot deal that's exclusive for Grease Chamber members, uh, awesome. 10% off all of our services. So that uh, can be seen on the Grease Chamber website. Um, Greasechamber.org. Greasechamber.org. Um, but yeah, and there's, um, even if you're not interested in, um, you know, getting a quote from us or joining our team, our website at completepayroll.com provides a plethora of free resources nice. for all sorts of uh, New York State employment guidelines. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, we, we tend to get a lot of visitors, even even folks that aren't interested in our service, but um, there's a lot of good resources for any business owner out there. So. That's awesome. And uh, and, also, and also incredibly important, just to, just to sort of underscore the importance. So this is an arena in which business owners have been really... Um, uh, you know, dealing with a whole lot of new rules and regulations that all connect with payroll and mm-hmm. HR, and uh, having a having a good uh, resource to turn to for that information is awesome. CompletePayroll.com. CompletePayroll.com, folks. I want to thank my guests from Complete Payroll here today, Sydney Underwood and Matt McNeil. Thank you guys so much for being here on Business Voice. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you. All right, stick around. We have one more terrific guest for today's show uh, from Pino's Palette. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Of course, you love your pet. That's why it's hard to believe that you're feeding them the wrong food. 
Yeah, 70% of dogs and cats are eating the wrong pet food. It could be because they're getting older, a little overweight, or have allergies. Pet Saver Healthy Pet Superstore can help. Bring in your food or take a picture of the label, and a trained staff member will let you know what is really in the food. They know how to accurately read the labels and give you the truth about what you're feeding or not feeding your pet. If you need a change, they can recommend a food that really is healthier for your pet. And because Pet Saver carries more premium food than any other store in town, including the national chains, you might even be able to pay less for a food that is better for your pet. Are you one of the 70% of pet owners that are feeding your dog or cat the wrong food? Find out for free at the Pet Saver nearest you. In Greece, Monroe Avenue, Brighton, Webster, and in Victor next to Party City across from Eastview Mall. Let us light up your sky. Skylight Signs is a full-service sign company with over 60 years of industry experience. We fabricate, install, and service all types of signs for all kinds of businesses, including Wegmans, Bill Gray's, Howard Hanna, Galena Development, DeBella's, the Joseph A. Floriano Convention Center, the Rochester Public Market. Welcome to Rochester and welcome to High Falls. Contact us at skylightsigns.com or call Jim Colombo at 585 585- Five five nine four twenty five hundred, and remember, a business with no sign is a sign of no business. More than twenty thousand watts of truth. WYSL AM ten forty FM ninety two point one and ninety five point five West. Welcome back. You're listening to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, sponsored by Pet Saver Healthy Pet Superstore. I'm Sarah Lentini, and I'm de- delighted to welcome my next guests from Pino's Palette, Josie Vaccaro and Michelle Juzwiak. Did I get it right, Michelle? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I just learned Michelle's name about five minutes ago, and it's a it's a challenging name. So that was the that was the hesitation on my part. So welcome, Josie. Thank you. you are thank the you for owner. having us. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, you're Josie. You're the owner yes. of Pino's Palette, correct? Mm-hmm. I am and, the owner, and uh, it's a relatively new business in the Rochester region, right in Greece specifically. Yes. yes. Uh, I have a memory that we did a ribbon cutting with you guys within the last twelve months, but might be more like the last six months. Right, but February. Was it yeah. February? Yeah. So actually, you know, yeah. I'm right about yeah, just right about around that time. Yeah. So um, congratulations Thank on your you. grand opening. Congratulations you. on uh, having your own franchise in Greece. Tell us about Pino's Palette for anybody who perhaps hasn't heard about it. Oh, okay. So we are a um, paint and sip slash DIY venue. We're a destination for, for people to come. You come in, you can paint, you can drink wine and beer, have some munchies while you're doing it. We're step-by-step artist instruction, um, and we're just kind of branching out to more newer things now. We're kind of we're still doing the canvas, but we're we're starting up different things now. Wood oh. products and marble art and uh, chunky blankets and chunky pillows. Oh, and, cool! Yeah. So, so you mean when you uh, so if somebody comes to Pino's Palette. Mm-hmm. Um, which is where, by the way, in Greece? It's right on the corner. It's 2544B Ridgeway Avenue. It's right on the corner of Long Pond and Rid- uh, Ridgeway Avenue in Greece. Which is a great location. It's a great location. Yep. Very yes. accessible, right off 390. You got it. Yep. Right off of 390. It's right there. It's about 23 minutes from where we are today. Is it really? It that's is. That's all it is? That's all it is. It's, it's all expressway. That's that's fantastic. Yep. It is. So I walk into Pino's Palette. I'm likely to come in the evening, on an afternoon? Either or. Okay. And um, I walk in, I have access perhaps to some wine. That's the sip part, correct? Yes. That's the sip part. You can either bring it in or you can buy it on premise from us. I didn't realize you could, you could yes. bring it in. That's great. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you can come with a group of friends. Yes. A lot of people do, right? Yeah. yeah. Some people yeah, come alone. Okay. We do get some people that come alone. Sure. Okay. So mm-hmm. I, can I, do I need an appointment? Do I, have, do, do I need to have booked a time? You can go on our website. And you can see our event calendar. It's always okay. published two months in advance. And you can just look at what we have for particular days. And if you decide that you want to join, you can make a reservation online or call us, and we'll hold a seat for you till you get there. Oh, that's wonderful. So what is your web address? Uh, it's Pino's Palette, Rochester. And it's Pino's is spelled? P-I-N-O-T-S. And then La- Palette is P- P-A-L-E-T-T-E. So Pino's? Palette, 
Rochester.com. Rochester.com. Mm-hmm. And is the Rochester there? Are you part of a franchise? A national we are franchise? part of a franchise, yes. Wonderful. Out of Texas. Okay. Mm-hmm. Out of Texas. And so you're the franchise holder for, are you the only, I'm, I'm unaware of any other in the Rochester region. I mean, is there any other Pinot's uh, Palette in Rochester? Nope. Pinot's Palette's the first one that opened in Rochester, New York. Wow. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Rochester, Greece. Thank you. Fantastic. Yes. So, um, and are there even others in New York State? I don't know. There are, there's about eight more in New York State. Okay. Mm-hmm. Kind of so. all over the place in New York State. So. Fantastic. But yeah. there's room for more. But uh, but we're really happy that you've uh, opened Pinot's Palette in the Rochester region and specifically in Greece. And, of course, uh, very, uh, very happy that you've joined the Greece Regional Chamber. So of course. thank you for that. So now you can come in and sort of the normal or the historic thing with Pinot's Palette is you come in, you might have a little wine, you bring wine, you buy wine, and you're likely to be painting – Correct. Mm-hmm. Um, and traditionally, it's been on a canvas. Right. And yes. is that where yeah. Michelle comes in? That's where Michelle That's comes where in. I come Michelle, in. I, I heard you're an artist. Is this correct? Uh, I am a Pinot's palette artist, yes. Nice. Very nice. Mm-hmm. So does that mean that you're kind of leading the class? How yes. does this work? Um, when you walk in, you're given an apron, all the supplies in your blank canvas, whether it's canvas, wood, um, the, the yarn for the hand knitting, whatever it is. You're given the supplies needed. And then I walk you through step by step from start to finish. And at the end of however long your class is, whether it's an hour, hour and a half, two hours, two and a half hours, mm-hmm. we even do some three hour events. Oh, wow. Um You leave with a fantastic piece of art, whether it's canvas, wood, yarn, whatever it may be. Going back to what you were saying, because you're Mm -hmm. you're now you're now um, helping people to paint on any kind of a wine glass, wine bottles. Yes, we've really are doing everything. And is there isn't there normally like a particular thing that you a particular object or an image or a photograph that people are working from? Right. Yes. I create that prior to the class time. Um, that way, when you come in, you see what you're painting. Okay. You can get the finished example. It's typically one that the artist creates prior or completes prior to have as an example. Um, and then I recreate it again so okay. that you can see the differences because it's not going to be perfect. You're your own worst critic, but you're there to have a good time and create your own piece of art. Mm-hmm. That sounds great. I bet people have a really good time when they come too. Yeah. Yeah. I see the photos on Facebook and it just looks like yeah. people are, are, are just enjoying themselves. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have music playing. I encourage dancing, singing, sing along. Oh, dancing. <laughs> we get people and dance to whatever's on. Very mm-hmm. cool. Very 80s cool. rock, 90s hip hop, whatever you want, whatever we got. That's fantastic. <laughs> In case you're just joining us, you're listening to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce, sponsored by Pet Saver Healthy Pet Superstore. I'm Sarah Lentini, president of the Greece Regional Chamber, and I'm here with my guests from Pino's Palette in Greece, Rochester region, of course. Um, the owner of Pino's Palette, Josie Vaccaro, and just one of the Pino's Palette artists, mm-hmm. Michelle <laughs> Joswiak. Such a pleasure to have you both here. So just one of the artists. So how many artists are there at uh, Pino's Palette? Six. We have Right now we have six, total of six. That's great. That's actually quite a big staff. It's good. Bring it in mm-hmm. a few more, so... That's wonderful. Yeah. So I'd love to hear a little bit. I know a little bit about your background, but not all that much, Josie. So, you know, you obviously um, have a little bit of experience that led you to the point that you wanted yes. to take the plunge to yeah. uh, to start the, you know, to start up the franchise, buy and start the franchise. Right. So tell us a little bit about your history. Well, I've been in customer service my entire life. So mm-hmm. um, I knew I wanted to stay in that. Um, I had worked for a previous company doing the same thing that we're doing right now, and I loved it so much Mm. that I decided that I needed to buy my own. Mm -hmm. That's great. (laughs) So, you know, I love the interaction with people. And I'll tell you what, the best part of it is some people walk in and they're just like, oh, they're so nervous. But boy, when they leave, the smiles and they're just so happy. And they just, that makes it worth it right there when they're leaving with that big smile. And they're creating memories. Right. You know, right. it's all the memories. It's- yeah. Yeah. And I imagine that people, when they walk in, if they've never been there before, like maybe they're they're worried because they don't think they're artistic. They don't right. think they have talent. But this really isn't about that, is no, it? I no. Mean, this is fun art. This yeah. is, yeah, this is go out. We're a destination. You come in, you have a good time. You have maybe yeah. a glass of wine, a beer with a friend. And yeah. 
That's it. We so. had a lot of bachelorette parties. So nice. like right there is a big memory for a lot of brides to be and right. birthdays, big birthdays. I can't mm-hmm. tell you how many 21sts I get. <laughs> um, 21st, 30th, 40th. Um, we had a big win- wedding anniversary mm-hmm. party. So not only are they coming in just to make memories with friends, they're coming in for big moments in their lives. Right. That's wonderful. Um, and Michelle, what about you? Um, your background is in art. You probably are a, a serious artist. Yes. Uh, believe it or not. No, I am not. Oh. Um, I am a self-taught creative soul. Oh, very um, cool. When I was little, I always did like the scrapbooking and crocheting and mm-hmm. um, dabbled with. I loved to color when I was a little, little girl and um, through high school and college and with other mm-hmm. locations prior to Pino's palette, I really fell in love with the acrylic art very and cool. um, I, I, no words after that. <laughs> so you're having a good time. This oh, really, I love this it. This is going to be a great fit. But for she's you. a school teacher. Oh, yes. really? also a school teacher. I'm a school teacher. I teach special ed, um, mm-hmm. and it's it's a good separation away from that. Mm-hmm. But it's still the same thing as far as the teaching goes. It's just a lot of fun. So you're, that explains it. You'd be very comfortable leading leading a group of people, mm-hmm. right? And uh, kind of helping I've been them told. to understand something. <laughs> You've been told. That's great. That's wonderful. So. Um, I know something else, which is that you are really committed to the community, Josie. Yes. And um, I already see, you know, thank you for your membership in the Greece Regional Chamber, and I already see that you do a lot of networking with other businesses Mm -hmm. and a lot of cross-promotion with other businesses, and uh, you also support some community causes. We Um, do. We're actually really big with the Veterans Outreach Center. Very cool. Um, My business partner is... um, United States uh, Marine Corps decorated Marine oh. Corps veterans. So uh, we try to do a lot of work with the veterans oh, as much as we can. That's wonderful. Yes. Please thank him for his service from I will us. do that. Um, thank you. Uh, we can never say thank you enough to the people that have served the country. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, are you are you looking as you look out? Because I know you're you're busy, right? I can see just uh, you know what little I see of the activity that you guys have. Uh, you know, lots of events, people coming in. Uh, do you have any special events that you're doing for veterans' causes that maybe people might be interested in or any other events that people might want to sign doing, on to? We're um, doing, we have a couple fundraisers right now on our website. One of them is with uh, Make-A-Wish. Oh, wonderful. Um, That's a great organization. coming up. Yeah, um, Make-A-Wish, right. And Parkinson's. Also That important. one's also coming up in September. Um and if people, if people that are connected to causes like that have an interest in working with absolutely. you, can they reach they, out yes, to you? Yes, they definitely can reach out to us. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're working with the uh, comp here, which is the Women's Veterans. Wonderful. They come to our studio once a month, so we encourage all veterans to come to our <laughs> studio. We take very good care of them when they do. So That's fantastic. Yes. And obviously businesses can reach out to you as well yes. for either you do parties, corporate we parties do, as yep, well? We do, Team building events, corporate parties. We travel. We'll come to you. Uh, very big with fundraisers. Um, so any company out there looking to do a fundraiser, definitely give us a call because we'd be more than happy to work with yeah, them. Yeah, what a great fundraising venue. It is. I can imagine that that's, uh, that's got to be very popular. And, and it's, it's nice because it's not enormous, right? Right. It's a nice size, right. so you right. can have some nice impact, yes. but you don't have to fill a ballroom either because no. that can be a big challenge. Exactly. So this is it's a perfect um, perfect place, and I know uh, you probably do receptions as well uh, tied with the... We can do receptions, yes. yes. You've got Absolutely. the flexibility to do any number of yes. things in your space, so that's awesome. Um, we are, again, uh, delighted that you opened in Greece, Pino's Palette. That's P-I-N-O-T-S, Palette, P-A-L-E-T-T-E. The website is Pino's Palette, Rochester. Dot com. Uh, Josie Vaccaro, congratulations Thank on you. the opening of your new business. And Michelle Joswiak. Congratulations on on your finding a great niche as one, just one of the mm-hmm. artists at Pino's Palette, one of the great artists that, yeah. that greets you and leads you at Pino's Palette. Thank you guys so much for being Thank here you. today. Thank you. Voice. Thank you. That pretty much wraps us up for today. Thank you so much for listening to Business Voice, a program of the Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce sponsored by Pet Saver Healthy Pet Superstore. I'm Sarah Lentini, and I look forward to having you join us for the next edition of Business Voice. You've been listening to Business Voice. The Greece Regional Chamber of Commerce serves businesses, nonprofits, and individuals throughout the region, focusing on promoting economic and community development and serving as the voice for business. The Chamber offers networking, education, advocacy, community events, and business services. It serves as an important platform for business leaders and citizens to come together in support of common goals. 